Hey, what's up everybody? I um, want to take a second to show you just uh, one of our Sunday activities here. We're up in the north side of Pensacola, just north of Nine Mile Road, if you're familiar with the area. This is called uh, Ashton Brosnaham Park. Big sport or sports complex. It's a big sports complex here. A um, whole bunch of soccer fields, baseball fields, softball fields, uh, pavilions. They've got a big stadium over there, um, Scambia County Stadium. Uh, just nice big area, playground, big huge pavilion. They've got restrooms, big whole deal. The reason we're showing this to you is because just something we like to do for activities from time to time is do um, geocaching, which has been around a long, long time, but it's still a thing. Um, if you're not familiar with geocaching, you should definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun because pretty much anywhere you are in the country, you can find geocaches and it's just something to do as a family. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it's basically a, it's basically like a scavenger hunt. There are, people will hide little um, items, little caches they're called around in different places. In this particular park, there's a series of about 12 different uh, geocaches. So we're just out kind of taking some time, walking around. It's a little cooler now. We're about in the second week of October or close to the second week of October already here in West Florida and it's finally starting to cool off just a little bit so we're trying to take advantage and enjoy some of the cooler weather do something outdoors have a little fun so we just now went to the other side of this parking lot tried to find one of them but we weren't able to do that and so now we're going to come over here and charlotte's been hunting for hunting for our other one and trying to do that so i'm going to take you over here and Try to see what we can see if we can find this other one here not a whole lot of activity out here today which is nice too pretty quiet on the sunday afternoon any luck finding anything over here it says it's right over here so it's kind of guided us over to this area here it's supposed to be a micro which is just what it sounds pretty small and sometimes people will stash them in the places like this place down in here oh there it is right there boom see right in there I'll have her come grab it right up inside there hell yeah so like I said if you're not familiar with this when you open them up there's usually a little paper inside and then when you set up your geocache account you'll have uh you'll give yourself or your team a name so our team name is the roman numerals 116 which stands for a little play on words romans which is the bible verse the bible verse of romans 116 you can look that up if you want to so then you just kind of put the date on there and your little name on the little paper and that's how you log your cache and then you put it right back we'll put it right back to where we got it from for somebody else to find it and then that logs it on your account and you can see all the ones you've found so we've done geocaching all the way from arizona to Oklahoma to Vermont and New York and all over the place. That's kind of how you do it there. Just put that on there and then roll that back up inside and we'll do that. So just some some stuff, especially if you've got, you know, even while well, we've even found like our teenagers, teenagers like it as well. And um, from all ages. So if you've got anywhere from preteens all the way up to teenagers, they really love geocaching. It's a lot of fun and I uh, can get there can be stuff way out in the middle of the woods. There can be stuff in the inner cities, um, wherever wherever we end up putting it. But uh, we'll put that right back in there for the next person. So pretty good deal. Try that out. Uh, also check out this park here, Municipal Sports Complex up in north side of Pensacola. And um, always good activities. Enjoy your day and we'll see you later.